landscape of Mars is anything but quiet. Winds do their best to howl in the low-pressure atmosphere, and in their bluster pick up dust and transport it around the red planet. And in some areas of Mars, it isn't just the dust that is carried away by the wind. In the North Polar Sand Seas, the dunes ripple across the landscape at speeds reaching upwards of half a meter a month. These dunes and other bed forms aren't all the same, however. They vary in size and the spacing of their peaks, and these variations affect the creep of even the largest sand grains across the landscape. The smallest features, simply called ripples, move at the highest speed. These roughly foot-high forms are spaced approximately 3 to 15 feet apart and race through summer before the freezing ice of winter locks them in place. These ripples are tiny next to the massive dunes that can soar hundreds of meters in height and allow space for football fields to rest between their crests. The dunes are largely locked in place as fossils of an early time when Mars had a thicker atmosphere. Intermediate to these structures is the mega ripple. Sandy formations that stand as tall as a human, with a spacing of 1 to 5 meters between crests. Since they were first observed, researchers had thought these larger structures were also frozen in place. But, when researchers looked long enough, they uncovered a very different reality. Using repeat high-rise images acquired over long durations, up to 13 Earth years, we examined the dynamic activity of polar landscapes. We found that the thin Martian atmosphere can mobilize some coarse grain mega ripples, overturning prior notions that these were relic landforms from a past climate. We mapped mega ripples in adjacent regions across the North Polar Sand Sea, the most expansive collection of dune fields on Mars. Just like on Earth, large variations in weather are seen between Mars' equatorial regions and polar regions and these weather patterns shape the geology. While the equator doesn't see too serious of a seasonal variation, the differences at the poles are extreme to the point that the atmosphere freezes to snow come winter. Come summer, winds rush into the polar regions as the ices sublimate back into gas. Mega ripples were found to be widespread across the region and migrating at relatively high rates relative to other sites on Mars that are at lower latitudes. This enhanced activity is likely related to the greater sand fluxes found for neighboring sand dunes, which are driven by summertime seasonal winds when polar ice is sublimated. This supports the notion that much of the Martian surface is actively being modified and not just ancient or static. Here on Earth, moving dunes can eat away at human-made structures covering up roads or burying parts of towns, while also revealing ancient features, and even meteorites as what once was buried becomes revealed. The same is true on Mars. Sand movement on Mars is responsible for erosion of some materials, but also can re-expose older surfaces that were once buried. If you want to see the past revealed anew, these ripples and mega-ripples are good places to look. Go north, future rovers, or south, and find in the sand the history of the Red Planet.